You know, I, I don't deserve this. But then again, I've got arthritis, so I don't deserve it either. <laughs> Do you know, I've got that many things wrong with me. I don't know whether God made me or thoughts. <laughs> I was the baby that wasn't wanted. Aww. I can only remember the words my father said to my mother on the day I was born. He said, I'll get you for this. <laughs> At the top of our street, there was a second-hand pet shop. <laughs> where, you, where you could buy half a snake. <laughs> and my mother, Lord bless her soul, she bought me a parrot. And she got them half price because I don't have one wing. <laughs> and every Sunday I used to take her out for a spin. <laughs> when I was 17, I, I couldn't get a girl. I had nothing going for me. And my mother said, son, join the Lonely Hearts Club. So I joined the Lonely Hearts Club. And I got my first blind date. And she turned up at half past seven wearing a red carnation. And I said, are you Maureen McGilson? She said, you Bobby Shack? I said, yes. She said, well, I'm not Maureen McGilson. <laughs> so, so, I felt suicidal. <laughs> I, I wanted to enter all. So I went up on a bridge, and I was going to jump off, when my mother sent the police up to speak to me. And the police company said, on your marks! <laughs> now in those days, I couldn't afford a new car, and I bought a heap. Every Sunday, I used to take the family out for a push. <laughs> Hitchhikers would wave me on. <laughs> so I bought an engine. <laughs> and I said to Maisie, Maisie, I'm, I'm going to take you out. And he's sitting in the car. I said, Where are we going? I said, We're going to Blackpool. And I'm driving to Blackpool and I put my hand on the leg. She said, You go further. So I went to Lancaster. <laughs> My father, he's not a soldier. He fought in two world wars. He fought the Germans, the Japanese, and the Italians. He liked that, he couldn't get on with anybody. <laughs> anyway. How did they get the Adams family all on the one table? <laughs> Is this your fault? You're a bit old for it, aren't you? <laughs> Still, if the romance doesn't work out, maybe you can adopt it. <laughs> Look for a younger fellow here to sit down. <sighs> I'd like to give a nice rose out to a pretty lady on the front. Can't see anybody in the first three rows. <laughs> you look nice, the nearly blonde one. What's your name? I'm not cross-eyed, I'm looking at you. What's your name, honey? Margaret. Don't like that name, girl. <laughs> you haven't got a moustache, it breaks up the monotony of your face, you know? What's your name? Irene! Here are Margaret. You're going to be able to keep up with me, son. <laughs> Don't get on to me, pal. I never cut your hair. <laughs> Here's a nice three six rose from Kirby. I'm from the Southport end. <sighs> right, who are we drinking with tonight? <laughs> Looks like it's you. <laughs> I look around, I see a lot of pretty ladies in here. I can see two ugly ones, I won't point them out, they know they are. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yes, this is going to be a long night. I, uh, sitting next to this woman last night, believe it or not, I was got stoned on me brains and apparently I slid down this banister naked yodeling. I didn't mean to yodel, it's just the banister had these little brass lamps on where I was going down. Why give me some bad news last night, told me she's cut me sex life down to once a month. Mind you, I'm lucky I know two fellas she's cut out altogether. <laughs> and people at the back must think this show's only a rumour. How are you doing that? <laughs> All the things I'm singing. Great to see Lee Brennan. What a great country singer that kid is. I worked with a girl singer last night. She was that bad. Deaf people refused to watch her lips move. Come on, am I too deep for this section? Yeah, the guy with the camcorder is really getting on my nerves now. Well, if we're going to get red kicked in, let's get pissed. It doesn't hurt, does it? No dancing! Yeah, but a lot of bad luck. I looked up my family tree and I found out that my great great grandfather was at Custer's last stand. Apparently he wasn't in the bath, he was camping in the next field. <laughs> Went over asked him to keep the noise down and they shot him. <laughs> Granddaddy had a lot of bad luck, he was shipwrecked in 1912, adrift for four days and picked up by the Titanic. <laughs> he was a safety officer. <laughs> I've got an uncle who's just found out he's gay, said he looked up the family tree and found out he was on the fruit section. <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm not with you, crowd. You're only as good as your own, you're damn brilliant. <laughs> Liverpool, it's great to be here amongst Liverpool people on this beautiful video on this beautiful night. But I sense in my mind that there's somebody here that I can't stand as northerners. Is there any cockneys yet? Point them out. The big fellow at the back, one or two of them is are okay. <laughs> I like tall women myself. Give them a basketball, let them dribble around for a bit, you know? <laughs> no dancing! I should sit down, everybody's walking around, I feel as if I'm on the underground. I fell in love with this little Jack Russell dog, it was only tubs in all money because it stuttered. <laughs> all the cats around our way used to sit on the back of your roll and take the mickey out of it. Just to rush out to him and go, bah, 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 wah. <laughs> bah, wah. <laughs> nice to see you, boys. What are you off? A Russian ship or something? It's a pity they didn't let you bring your going out clothes with you. Bah. I was in Bolton last night, Bolton. Anyone's eyes in Bolton, they don't bury them. You bring them to the club, sit them in the audience, and put the comic on. <laughs> it was one of them clubs when he went to the toilet on the door of the gents. It was a penis. So you knew it was the gents. <laughs> on the ladies was a photograph of the committee. No sense of humour at all. I told him that one about the scouser, he starts on the building site. Ten o'clock in the morning, he's sitting there, not a sandwich. He saw this one, I said, would you like a sandwich, Scouse? He said, I wouldn't mind, Pat, he only started this morning. He said, I have one of mine. Scouse went into the sandwich. He said, you don't mind me asking you, Paddy, what's on these sandwiches? He said, crab paste. He said, crab paste? Where'd you buy that? He said, the chemist. <laughs> Mayor's East Side people. We've got a different sense of humour than other people. We've got a different sense of humour because we've had to rough it. Power cuts, we use them. Look at the last power cut. I got this. I got these. We're just going to get a Mac and the lights went on. <laughs> the 
lot of people don't like us because we say what we mean. We don't beat around the bush. With the ale house the other day, this fella turned out to his mate. He said, you never get three days to say with the one week here. <laughs> his mate said, what do you mean, like? He said, Monday I get a telegram from America. Our kid had died and left me an oil well and a million dollars. His mate went, oh my God. <laughs> he said, Tuesday, I get another telegram from Canada. My sister had died, left me a big spread. We had five million dollars. His mate went, oh my God. He said, this morning, fuck all. <laughs> difference between a Merseyside girl and a terrorist, you can negotiate with a terrorist. <laughs> Myself, I married to one of them scruffy ones, you them scruffy. Every time you go to have a pee in the sink, it's full of dishes. And you know, very sarcastic. She said to me the other day, she said, do you know if I die, would you marry that Nelly Smith over the road? I said, I don't need more of it. If you die, would I marry Nelly Smith? So what do you marry her for? She said, because I hate her. <laughs> I told that one about the Irish when he goes to doctors. He said, doctor, married 10 years now. No pat on the little feet. The doctor said, after examining you, Paddy. The doctor examined him, he said, there's not wrong with you, Pat. Go home and bring your missus down. Paddy went home, brought his missus down. The doctor examined his missus. He said, there's not wrong with you, love. Send Paddy in. Paddy come in, the doctor said, now listen, Pat. What I want you to do, I want you to go home, take this little bottle with you, put a sample of your sperm in it, and bring it back in a week. Paddy come back in a week, he banged the bottle on the desk. He said, I've tried it my right hand. I've tried it my left hand. She's tried it with her right hand. She's tried it with her left hand. My mother-in-law. She's tried it with her teeth out. She's tried it with her teeth in. But we can't get the top off that bottle. I've made her there this week. She's like 60, she just got a bus pass. Play bloody hell at breakfast time. I said, it's not fair. It's not that funny. <laughs> I said, it's not fair. You get your bus pass when you're 60. I've got to wait another, what, 22 years. <laughs> I said, I'm going to use yours, you, you can't. Be photographed on it. I said, I'll grow a moustache. <laughs> Got a very modern wife, drinks pint of lager and fights a lot. <laughs> but she's very good in bed. Well, until I get in with her. <laughs> making love to you, nice said to me. You never talk to me when we're making love. So there's no like waking you up. <laughs> then he try to ridicule you then, don't he? Belittle you. You're taking your time, aren't you? I said, I can't think of anybody. See, being a comedian can cure happiness. Mine. It's not the same as being a singer, is it? Don't get people going to a Pavarotti concert shouting, get off your fat get, we've heard it. <laughs> singing something we haven't heard. That's life, I suppose.
Nice to see you all out enjoying yourselves. Had a bad spate of bad luck lately. Got knocked down the other day by a mobile library. I'm lying in a row screaming, the fellow got out and went, shh. <laughs> I've always been lucky. If I didn't have any bad luck, I wouldn't have any at all. I'm always unlucky. Went to Spain for me holidays, but castanets down the front of me pants still never clicked. <laughs> Went to one of those parties where you all throw the keys in the middle. Where did I end up? AA box, long M6. <laughs> I suffer with pins and needles in my feet. I went to the doctors, tried to cure me with acupuncture. Sudden dog shit to be a nail in it. <laughs> I'm always unlucky. <laughs> and my granddad was the same, he's the love him, my granddad. He's a smashing fella. Had a silver plate in his head. If he sat with his back to the telly, we got a cracking picture. He's <laughs> alive today, we could have got Channel 5, I think. <laughs> Some of years with a bad back and he almost cured him. He injected his spine with mercury. The only problem was in the summer. <laughs> he's seven foot six. <laughs> in the winter, he's four foot three. <laughs> that cold spell we had, he went missing for five days. <laughs> I've got to go short, they've got an 18 hour gear along. Got about five minutes left. I don't know what you're drinking out there, but Guinness is a marvellous cure for a cough. Six pints of draft Guinness, you are terrified to cough. Oh, Christ. It's worse than a Vindaloo. What did he put in them Vindaloos? He could take over this country on a Sunday morning. If you have them on the weekend, put a toilet roll in the fridge. No wonder Gandhi wore a nappy, innit? <laughs> yeah. I knew a fella been on the Guinness three days and nights, went into Timson's shoe shop Monday morning. He said, uh, can I have a pair of... Um... <laughs> Shoes, please. The girl said, um, oh. She said, uh, bloody hell, lad. <laughs> well, have you been eating mice? <laughs> no, stay where you are, don't follow me, stay where you are. <laughs> what size do you want? <laughs> She'll have si <laughs> seven. <laughs> and a half. <laughs> She'd want to get that scene to. Can't be well. Do you want black or brown? He said, I love it. Oh, got a bloody pain. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh. So hang on, I might want wellies, hang on. <laughs> uh, brown, brown. <laughs> and could you hurry up? <laughs> said, you dirty sod. <laughs> you want locking up. <laughs> There's got to be better ways of earning a living than this. <laughs> For your cameraman. Got lace ups or slip ons here. <laughs> he said, Love him.
slip-ons. <laughs> so I said, enough's enough. Should I try them on? In the street, if you don't mind. Oh, I said, the great them. <laughs> nice shade. Very comfortable, Andy. How much, Andy? I said, I'm frightened to tell you in case you shit yourself. <laughs> You're a lovely, lovely audience. Good night. God bless. Love you dearly. Bye bye. Man.